it's blazing hot today. The temperature is like 100 degrees. In with the outside bit, or the out that's the inside bit, with the outside bit. Welcome to the Bionic Bikers channel, and um, today I'm gonna be. I want to look at what our new tent's like. I mean, actually put up. I haven't put it up yet, so I haven't got a very good space to be able to erect it, but. It's gonna go on there. Obviously, I'm not gonna be doing the guy ropes or anything, but um, this is the tent anyway. It's called a portal. There was a lot of recommendations for it. It's actually a four man tent because we find that the uh, two men tents are only good for one person. Three man tents are only good for two small people. <laughs> and a four man tent has probably got enough space in it that we need to put us and all our stuff in it. Believe me, we need a four man tent. Now, because I've got bad back and bad knees and getting older, I don't like to crouch down too much. I think that this one will be quite low, but what you got to do anyway, it's, it, you got to do what you got to do, right? We're going to be doing a bit of motorcycle camping this year, so I want to see how this tent goes up and how big it actually is. This space is I've got a good three or four meter by three or four meters to uh, put the tent up. So yeah, let's go, let's get this put up and see how long it takes me, eh? minutes 33 seconds in and I've got the base done I think it's off the porch I don't know where the third pole goes there must be something to do with this I ain't sure it's gonna be something to do with that that there is gonna have the porch bit on it I bet you right So with uh, a little bit of fault and uh, perseverance, I've got it up and uh, it's taken me 31 minutes. If you can see that, without using any instructions at all. It all needs to be pegged out properly, but I'm not doing that at the moment. It looks like the diagram. Like I say, I haven't got the guy ropes out. So yeah, look. There 
and this is inside the tent. Now, I don't like bending much because of my back, but um, this isn't too bad actually. You've got you've got an air vent up there and side pocket over there another side pocket there um, ground sheet already built into it and the ground sheet comes out here so you can put your helmets and bags in this part I'm still not sure what these are for yet Look, I've got to tighten all these up see I think um, yeah that one up the top there needs to be done up um, there's a holder for your light that's about all you need really I think me and Liz will get in there we'll get in there pretty easy um, I think that strap there should go underneath this for starters otherwise we're going to come out and fall straight over on that <laughs> You can imagine getting up in the morning, walking out, I'll get my foot caught in that. <laughs> Gonna go everywhere. But yeah, it is... I was thinking of getting the... Uh, I was thinking of getting the blackout version, but I just reckon they're roasting it, to be honest with you. I'd rather put a pair of... Uh, um, I'd rather put a head thing on, you know, like a mask. Anyway. There's some sort of think that that there is another flap that comes off so you've got that that little window out there that's the only window you've got two at the front yeah all right very warm you know what it's like in tents it's really warm Liz has got her hair up in a towel and doesn't want me to film her. I just been to the showers at the camp, campsite, haven't I? I've been to the campsite okay. shower. Right, what do you think? Have a little look. Mm, I can do it. Okay, I was going to hold it while you got, got down on. So it folds back on itself, that's the trouble, and falls inwards. That's why I didn't want you to do it. Ah, but you didn't tell me that. Oh, that's plenty big enough for us. Yeah? Yeah. Well. It is, isn't it? It's a rough weight, of course. <laughs> I think it's big enough. The only windows in it are the two at the front, though. I've only got two windows at the front. Right. We don't want people looking in. No, we don't want people looking in. That is dead true. I think that's it. Took me 30 minutes on my own, on stone gravel. Never done it before. And, uh more than big enough, I think it's well big enough for two people. Would you say it was big enough to get all our bike gear, like helmets and everything, and isn't some. it? Yeah, and yeah, some. absolutely. So it probably is slightly probably on the, the bigger side. Huh? Probably the best choice. Ah, yeah, okay. portal. So... Yes, we're taking this on a motorcycle camping trip, and... Um, yeah. We're gonna be using it. Give us a smile, and a thumbs up. That's good. The proof of the pudding is in the eating, so we won't know exactly what it's like until we actually go away and sleep in it for the night. But I'm quite happy it's got enough room and we don't want to camp, actually. We want to glamp a bit, so we want to have it as nice as we possibly can. If I'm honest, the only one thing I'd change about this tent at the moment would be the height. Um, I don't like having to bend down, but it's better than some I've had in the past. So I'm not complaining. I can easily get in and out of there. What do you think, guys? Do you think this cost me... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll put all the details on the screen now, how much it cost, the size of it. Um, 
the weight of it, etc. I think it weighs about five and a half kilos. If you get the one with the black outlines, it's like six and a half, it's another extra kilo, which on a motorcycle we didn't really want. So um, there's a lot of people that say the black outlines are well worth it. They're really quiet, they're really private, but there's a lot of people that say, just put an eye mask on, go to sleep with that on, and you'll cut out most of the light anyway. So we actually do prefer wearing an eye mask. So I uh, didn't want the extra weight or the extra heat because the blackout blind causes a lot of heat inside the tent. Uh, I think there is a vent at the top. I'm not sure. I'm going to double check that. Um, I'll, I'll let you know in the comments. I'll let you know on, yeah, in, in the write-up whether there's an actual vent in the top. Um, like on the inside layer. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's take this apart now and uh, see if I can get it back in the bag. See how long it takes me, right? So... Let's see what we can do then. There's one thing I really can't stand is putting tents back together. I mean, that is the inside of the tent. That's the outside of the tent. And I'm nowhere near getting it back into the, uh, back into the case. So then I have to unfold it all and do it again. I guess it's just, you've got to practice the knack of doing it right. So start again, see if I can get it right. Attempt to. I'm gonna give it a go. Where's the bag? That ain't gonna go in there, is it? Not a chance. Unbelievable. I've got to try and fold it up again. This skin tent. I think I'm supposed to put the inside bit in with the outside bit, or the out that's the inside bit with the outside bit, because I can't get them back in there, even with the straps on it. I'm going to have to undo it all again. So, so far I'm at, how long has it taken me? It's nearly taken me as long to mess this up, taking it down, as it did to put it up. I'm going for something to eat. It's getting on my nerves and I'm getting hot. Well, I completely messed up with the tent. Completely messed it up. So now I'm going to show you how to do it properly because I did it wrong. But to do that, I've got to put it back up. Bear with me and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to get the tent put back up, at least part of it, and then show you what I mean. Okay. Honestly, put in the tent back in the bag is way worse than getting it out and putting it up. That's no no problem. Anyway, let's get the tent out, ready? So what you're supposed to do, which I never realized, is, well, for a little bit of uh, checking on YouTube, figuring things out a little bit, I'm, I've taken the top off. Okay, so the outer skin's taken off. I'm gonna put the outer skin inside the actual tent there, okay? Hey, 
Okay, so put it inside like that. I have to say it doesn't fit exactly, but there you go. And then we're gonna take the tent down again, okay? Let's take it down. All right, now I've got it into some kind of a square. And remember, that's got the inside bit in there as well. And that bit there is the porch. So I've got it into a square. So now what I'm gonna do, you'll like this. Most people probably know this, but I'm going to use this, the, uh, the tent poles. I'm going to use the tent poles. I'm going to put it in the middle of it as well. So it'll all wrap, wrap around that, but I've got to get it to that size. So if I put it in the middle there, like that, I've got to fold it up to that size. So wish me luck. a little bit too wide but I'm gonna give it a go where's the bag that ain't gonna go in there is it not a chance Unbelievable. I've got to try and fold it up again. I'm going to take it off the, uh, the stones because the stones will break it up. So I'm going to put it down, down here. I'm out of breath. I need a set of knee pads or I need to have some bike trousers on so I can kneel on the floor because uh, my knees can't kneel on the floor well I can but it ain't pretty I'm using different straps than the one they gave me. Get yourself a couple of these straps, put it back on itself. Right, it's about a third or fourth attempt. See if this will go in. It's very tight. Not going in, guys. Pillow though. It's blazing hot today. The temperature is like 100 degrees. I was joking. The temperatures for us probably 70s, maybe up to the 80s. I don't know. Um, for us European brothers, um, it's got to be 20 degrees. Not that hot really, but for me, that's not enough. So there you go. The difficult way to put up and take down a tent. 
when you ain't done it for years, well, a few years, and never done this one before, gotta be honest, let me know if there's better tents out there, especially you, I want, all right, I want, ideally, ideally, Lizzie and I, we want a compact tent, which is tall, and has some sort of porch for our bike gear to stay outside in it. Um, you know, just at the front of the tent. But it's the, when you get to a certain age, it's the bending down and getting on the floor and up off the floor, which is the hardest thing. So we don't want to rough it. We want to, but then, then again, we don't want to, I mean, I've got a massive tent, but it's way too heavy to carry on uh, two Royal Enfield interceptors. So yeah, so we're looking for something that could, um, maybe outperform this thing. Because that was a mission. Easy putting it up, but taking it down, Jesus. Actually taking it down is all right, it's putting it in the bag. Folding up. Anyway. Well people, that's it, whatever you thought of that. Let me know in the comments below. Honestly, I haven't put a tent up for a little while. No, I'm going to hold my hands up. We haven't. Um, we we do prefer to uh, glamp it rather than camp it. Um, please give us a like, share, and a subscribe. It really does help our channel. Um, we love reading your comments, guys. So fire away. Give us some tips. Give us some information about the camping side of things. Um, you know, like I said earlier, well, so like I've said before, we ideally want something where we're not bending down too much, but it still needs to be light enough to uh, put on the back of the Enfield. Um, that's it. Take care. Look after each other. Stay safe on the road. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.